off uh, heading off for the opening morning of the August uh, over-the-counter archery and bear hunt here in Arizona I'll be using a bow my wife Peggy's gonna be using the crossbow um, a lot of people will be questioning why we're doing that my wife's had uh, recent hand surgery on her hand where they actually removed a digit from her thumb and uh, the doctor won't clear her to, to grip a bow so in conjunction with the fact that she's had three knee replacements two total knees and one revision um, she's pretty gimpy you know, we were struggling through that last year on the bow hunts with her limited ability to get around and obviously a little bit harder to sneak up on stuff but uh, you know now with the hand thing she can barely grip a coffee cup so we went ahead and got her the got her the crossbow permit for the game of fish so we'll be heading out this morning seeing if we can't uh, see if I can't get her on a deer she's been dying to kill a bear actually more than a deer but she'll she'll take either one um, um, we'll see what happens stay tuned Okay, I'm going to pause the video here just for a second and explain what just happened. That TAC-15 shoots bolts so fast that it went through that deer and hit the log, and I thought she missed the deer. I was convinced she missed the deer. Um, and the longer I sat there thinking about it, you know, I just knew that there's just no way. That TAC-15 just drives tacks, and Peggy was shooting it too well. So I started glassing over there, looking around in the grass with my binoculars, and I thought I could see some blood. So I went ahead and slipped out of the blind, snuck over there, and sure enough, there was a really good blood trail that went around the hill. Deer took a real sharp 90-degree turn, went down the hill, threw me out for a second, but, but I saw him pile up, pile up there. So I went back to the blind, kind of took the bolt and chucked it on the ground, made it kind of look like I didn't find the deer until I sat back down on the blind. And uh, so you, you'll see Peggy's reaction. I uh, caught her off guard just a little bit. Um, He's laying over there dead. Are you serious? Yes. No way. He's laying over there dead. Be quiet. I just told Cole I missed him. No, he's freaking dead. You asshole. Do you want to wait for a bear or you want to get him out of here and come back in the morning for a bear? 
for these things. I'm gonna have our hands full of both. Let's do some. Let's at least get some pictures and get them taken care of. Okay. <laughs> That's all. I didn't even walk down to look at them. I just saw them piled up. Don't let me miss them. I was getting nervous because the blood trail was going around. And I lost it, and then when, when it would turn, it went straight down the hill. I'm like, oh no, this isn't good now. And I looked, and there he was. I told you I hit him. <laughs> it sure looked like you missed him. Alright, let's let the bow down. Okay. Watch your buck. Right, he should be right over here. Let's see if we can go find him. See the blood? Blood there? Yeah. It's got thorns on it, I think. No, that one doesn't. What? Okay. Where is he? <laughs> See him? You're an asshole. Don't fall, be careful. It's slippery. Oh my god. Put it right through both shoulders. Oh my god, he's beautiful. His horns are all in the dirt. Nice buck there. Thanks. The biggest one yet. And you did it with a crossbow. <laughs> nice buck deer. Oh, you made me think of it. Did you get? It's a beautiful buck. Mm -hmm.